be a man. Experience! More is always better. That's why my bookie instantly doubles all first-time deposits. With double the funds, you can double your action and more importantly, double your wins. Getting in on the action has never been easier. I can bet with all my currencies, including crypto, and with all that extra scratch, why not get in on the biggest matchup of the week at my bookie? Don't wait. Head to my bookie today and redeem your double deposit bonus so you can get into the game and start winning now. Use my promo code BMN to receive double your first deposit instantly. That's promo code BMN so you can double your funds to double your winnings. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Be a man. Experience. I with me. Be a man. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to preach, preacher? Yep. What do you do when some guy asks you how much you bench? Tell him more than him. What do you do when a guy asks you to play cornhole? Don't bend over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not a world of men. I want you to be a man. You could just be a man in this one moment. I gotta be a man. Be a man. It's be a man time. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Am I supposed to be a man? Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. You can act like a man. Be a man. Speaking of man shit, between uh, interludes here, you said something about young man oh. shit. <laughs> about when you were growing up, do you, you want to share that with well, the audience? yeah, I mean, it was uh, what you call early medicine. Uh, you know, the, the, the advancements weren't what they are today. So your mother had to improvise, saying you weren't feeling well, whatever. You go to the bathroom, not even diarrhea. She'd yell out, don't flush it. I want to see it. <laughs> How old were you? 40? Oh, no. <laughs> in my 30s, because just by looking at and analyzing the stool, she could diagnose what was wrong with you and give you like, fuck it. But she only had so many medicines at her disposal. Vicks. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was only like aspirin. But she claimed that she could look at the stool and go, uh-huh, hmm. Well, you know. And then she'd give you the pro- pro- proper remedy. And yeah. of course, it always ended, go lay down. <laughs> right? Don't flush it. I want to say it. <laughs> I want to say it. You know, I don't say that to people myself. I say, go to the fucking emergency room. What do you want me to do? What yeah. do I look like? Yeah, really. I go, go- <laughs> Google it. Google turd diameter, turd length. I don't know. Now they got pictures to tell you what a turd's supposed to look like. Do you know what I mean? You ever have a friend uh, say, hey, man, I didn't flush. I just took a weird shit. Uh, to, like, tell me what you think. You ever get asked to analyze a shit? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Maybe I remember, nowadays that probably happens a lot, I would imagine. I bet. When I used to take some steamers and like uh, parking lots, <laughs> <laughs> I'd pull over. Used to. If I was especially proud of them, I have one friend in particular, I would send them a photograph of. Oh, yeah, we do. I've done that before. We've done yeah, that. That so, I like to especially do. Especially with cell phones. <laughs> right. We do it now. I, all right, we do it now sometimes too, okay? I admit it. I used to like to send those pictures into the guy developing the pictures. Remember the old days, the photo hut? Oh. He says to the other guy, this guy just <laughs> took a picture of a shit. Yeah, back, back then. There was no cell phones. That's how yeah, we what a, do that. Holy shit. What a <laughs> lost art. The fact that the, that the guy that had a <laughs> shitty job at Osco <laughs> Drug was in charge of seeing all your private moments. Do they, do they, you imagine? Do they analyze every pitch of those people? They, they have to develop them so they're yeah. seeing them in uh. front of their own fucking eyes. <laughs> how cool is that, though, if you're that guy? <laughs> yeah. It that's... shows the guy with his family posing, the sweater tied around his neck, all normal, normal, normal. Next thing you know, he's with a fucking hooker in Vegas. <laughs> No, well, he well, forgot he took the picture. <laughs> <laughs> didn't back in the day, like when they used to have like photo departments and stores and stuff, didn't they put those guys in fucking lab coats? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess you trusted that the guy developing the pictures was a fucking loner and an introvert <laughs> who would just go there and then go home and fucking watch TV and do the, you know what I mean, not talk to anybody. <laughs> he wouldn't say, hey, look what I got here. Look at this, look at this picture. You know what I mean? Look at a rack. I've heard people get turned down from developing rolls of film because they'd say I'm sorry I can't develop this it's pornographic oh, or really? whatever when did they, they, like they when did they catch you doing that Tonzo <laughs> it's just a story I've heard <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> be a man experience Obviously, besides your father, especially back in the golden days of manhood and people being men. My uncles were fucking animals. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
They own the bar. I think we talked about it before. They were fucking real gruff. Savages. Real angry, fucking gruff Italians. Fucking yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're in. You own a strip joint. Or you own a bar. I mean, you're gonna turn out yeah. like that element. You know. Oh, yeah. You well, know, they both used to pack iron too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guns and fucking angry. I'm surprised they never killed anybody. <laughs> they know about. So were they pack and heat it at like family functions and shit? Or? My uncle, who was a big bookie at that bar they used to own in East Boston, right? And, yeah. Um, I think it was about 14 to 15, and some guy cut him off. They were both going to get gas, and he's like, that fucking asshole. He get, <laughs> he get out of the car, was slipping all over the place. He opened his trunk and fucking pulled a gun on the guy. Jesus like, what the fuck is, Christ. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I didn't want to look in case he shot him. I didn't want to be a witness, you know? <laughs> some of the guys who do do that get caught. They go, yeah, one minute I was being a tough guy, brandished a weapon, I pulled it out. I'm doing 30 in Walpole. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> idiot, you. Brandish is a great word. Brandishing. That's a great Brandishing. word. How about if I just show it to you? Is that the same as brandishing? He brandished it. In other words, he showed it to you. He fucking pulled out he a gun. He brandished it. He I don't know. He pulled out a gun. He pulled out a gun. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> he brandished a weapon. He brandished. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you show a guy a weapon... You brandish, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got that squared away. But, you know, the manly guys I knew, my, I mean, my uncles, my fathers, everybody was a barbarian. Yep. The same meals were served. <laughs> they didn't care if you got your portion. It was it's really fucking, the law of the jungle. Yeah, you know, like, right. a, like a fucking carcass, like vultures picking on it. <laughs> he didn't say, hey, don't, I won't take it all. I'll take a little. Everybody get some. Yeah. He'd take all of it. Right, right. So it was up to you to stick your dirty hands in there and then grab what you could for you. Trying to get a fuck in the hand. Right, because right. It, it was every man for himself. Yeah. Nobody cared if you ate it or not. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> How about like at theme parks and shit when dudes are walking around with a giant turkey leg? Oh, I've never been that, fucking, that kind hate, of fucking I, I animal. I hate those things. I never cooked right. They, ah, they fucking suck. To but you've gross. done it, right? I, yeah, I've, I I've never been able to pull that off. I wouldn't even I, eat that in private. Yeah, they, they ah. taste like... I, I've done it a couple of times. They taste like shit. They like fucking don't even look like a cook. Be a man. Experience! How different back in the day... Was the locker room in high school? There was open yeah. showers. Wasn't Everybody there? walked yeah, around yeah. their balls out. Yeah, it was like uh, <laughs> when I went to junior high. <laughs> you had to take a shower when you did gym. Yeah. It's a little I unnerving at first yeah. when you realize you're gonna be nude in front of all the guys. <laughs> But then you say, huh, but I'm packing a fucking 10 inch. <laughs> Let them fucking feel uncomfortable, not me. <laughs> so, were you good at that? Being nude in front of no, multiple people? Never male? look at another guy's dick because they call you a pecker chucker. <laughs> <laughs> right. Even if you, by mistake, yeah. made like a glance, right. and the other guy goes, I think he was looking at it, and you go, I was looking at your dick. Mm hmm. Right? It's, 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 a, it's an awkward thing for a young fella. Yeah. I got an 11 year old son. He doesn't want any part of that stuff. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> He doesn't get it. I go, you know, son, back in the day, men used to walk around nude in front of each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They used to walk around with their fucking dongs flapping right. around, pissing in fucking piss troughs. Well, how about them fucking Aborigine shows on TV? They showed a guy climbing the fucking tree. His <laughs> balls are halfway down the fucking tree. The ladies are walking around naked. They're yeah, in some fucking jungle somewhere. They don't care. She's climbing up the tree right behind his right. balls. They don't... They, they don't... <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I used to go to the YMCA in New York. Oh, this is back in the fucking swinging 70s. Let me tell you something. A lot of straight guys there, but a lot of not straight guys there, too. Yeah. You got to watch yourself. <laughs> How about the YMCA? You've been to YMCA and the fucking people like to get the boys pulled. This guy's in there swimming naked. Oh. <laughs> Nah. Jesus, so that was happening back in your back in your heydays? Oh, there was, yeah, everybody yeah. was nude. There was nude swimming? Yeah. <laughs> we used to go to the YMCA in New York, right? You work out. There was these Irish, Ital not Italian, Irish guys, Italian guys in the sauna. Rough guys. Normal guys. But then there was other guys in there, too. Yeah. <laughs> you had to fend for yourself. When I tell you they had full-on erections. Oh, Jesus I mean, Christ. It was pretty bad. And they, and they would do stuff to each other. They'd sneak down some like, shower stall. You'd have to go, hey, what are you doing on there? It was bad news. <laughs> one guy grabbed my arm. I was jacked being a man, believe it or not, at one time. And he goes, mm hmm, I'm jacked up. Look at those arms. I fucking punched him right in the chest. Good. Don't, older guy, too. I said, listen. Don't touch. I didn't, I didn't go for full power. I didn't knock the wind out of him totally. It was a little like, yeah. boom, a quick, a you know what I mean? I yeah. go, hey, 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 hey. Zero tolerance <laughs> yes. was my rule. 
Yeah, just show him who was what boss. What am I talk to him nicely and go, don't do that? I go, you put your fucking hands on me. You got to be ready. That's right. For retaliation. That's right. Be a man. Experience! Quick sidebar. Yeah. I've been watching The Sopranos. Yeah. I never <laughs> watched it all the way through. And I couldn't... Get past your fucking barrel chest. You were he's fucking. So, you were prominent. You were like. Oh, a, you were like a fucking sidewalk with legs. I was like. He's he so looks pretty like jacked. A, he's he looks guy. like a fucking brick shit. I was like fucking Vito Antifermo. <laughs> you were very intimidating as Gigi. Yeah, That's I, something that I was never really to, yeah, like no. able to wrap my head around until I fully saw your performance. I was but doing heavily, heavily, <laughs> fucking drug, drugged up. Fucking, they shot me up with steroids. And fucking <laughs> no. <laughs> Of course, in that role, I'm sure there was a little bit of firearms training and stuff like that. <laughs> like, did, Were you into guns before uh, you took on the role? I was or? never really into guns. I've used them in shows like that. You know, yeah. I shot guns as a kid. You know, here and there, my father had a gun. Um, you know, but I personally didn't mess around with guns too much. How about you be a man? Uh, do you have uh, much history with guns? or Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> not not the kind of history I was implying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, be a man. Statue of limitations never runs out. Yeah, uh, yeah that's, murder. that's more of a careful <laughs> tonto. <laughs> yeah, one of my buddies was fucking out. <laughs> he's a good guy, but he, we go over his house and he's fucking jump out with the gun and put it to our head. Oh, oh yeah, one I, of those guys that play yeah, fast and loose yeah, with yeah. weapons. Oh, yeah. I mean, he did it to a kid that we brought over there once. A kid fucking had a meltdown. Uh, we, I was used I to don't it. Blame him. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's dangerous. Yeah. I had fucking a friend nuts. that used to, he would fucking, he would like kick the door open and walk in the room and dry cock up fucking shotgun and everyone <laughs> would just go dive in behind fucking tables and shit like a fucking nomad. <laughs> People that play fast and loose with weapons. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. I never shot anybody. But I pistol whipped a few. <laughs> That's always a good when thing. When you were brandishing a weapon. <laughs> I brandished, then I pistol whipped the fuck out of them. <laughs> uh, the pistol whip, it sets a tone in such a way. It's like, I could have killed you, and I spared right. your life good, by good bashing felt. your good fucking felt. face. Yeah, perfect. I was just going to say, right? that is the best pistol whipping oh, going. It's fucking uh, great. That's textbook pistol whipping right there. <laughs> if you're going to learn how to pistol whip, that's you watch that video, that movie. Right. You get the guy backing off. He sees you coming at him with a gun, right? So he's already fucked. <laughs> and then he's all, he's you just done. pistol whip the shit out of him. How about hunting? Have you guys ever gone hunting? Nah. I've gone with, with friends. One of my buddies, he, he passed away, one of my roommates, Duffy. And I remember we were all we were hung over. Him and uh, my other buddies, they showed up all fucking dressed up with the plaid and the shotguns. Oh, yeah. So I just tagged <laughs> along with him. Fucking Duffy, every time he saw a bird, he just fucking blow it away. Just fucking little, <laughs> like a fucking little sparrow. It fucking blow. Just be an explosion of fucking we feathers. Used to, we used to try to shoot pigeons in Somerville with the BB guns. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they could. They, you hit them in the fucking neck of the temple. It we was should, a kill shot. We should shoot birds. And we should, I was shooting cars going by. My buddies from home came up to college. They're like, oh, you still got the BB gun? I'm like, no, nah, no, it's, it's over at the college. I was off campus. So it's all right. So, so I come home. The fucking gun's out. Right? I'm a we fucking guy. Oh, yeah. Well, we're looking for something we found. I said, well, that's good to myself. They don't know where I put the CO2 cartridges. So we're sitting there drinking, watching football while we're drinking. We get shit faced. He started playing uh, David Allen Coe music. You know, you know yeah, David yeah, Allen yeah, Coe? Yeah, yeah. So we started playing that. I got the gun and I started shooting. They put the CO2 cartridge in it. Oh. So he fucking got BBs <laughs> screaming. Fucking right? beefed point, it up. Point blank, right? I'm shooting. He's like screaming. He had fucking BBs in his arm. He couldn't get out. He had a red line going down his arm like a day later. He couldn't get the BBs out. <laughs> he, I, I shot him like in a leg. I didn't pet, but he had no clothes on his arm. So oh. I, I shot holes in his fucking arm. He had, like, he had like three or four <laughs> fucking BBs in there. Look at him. Look at him and shoot him in the head. You should have tied a fucking tourniquet around him like, <laughs> like we did in World War yeah, One. Well, it, it didn't bleed, but when he got home, he had to go get a, a full fledged operation. Wow. And have him removed. <laughs> My brother <laughs> shot a kid off. Like, you know how you shoot, shoot people off a horse in the old days? Oh, in yeah. West? <laughs> In Somerville, we lived in this giant hill. I don't know if you guys did this. Those bikes we had, your friend would sit on the handlebars. Ever do that? Oh, yeah. yeah. You drive. We, they went down the fucking hill. My brother shot the fucking driver, picked him up. <laughs> he went off the fucking bike. He went down. The bike kept going. The other kid went into, <laughs> the other kid went into a fucking tree. <laughs> I swear to God, Larry Milano, I still remember. What a fucking crack shot. Oh, he fucking picked him right off. <laughs> 
how about uh, fishing? Did you guys oh, ever yeah. get yeah, into fishing? Yeah, I fished a, a lot. A little bit. A okay. bunch of guys, like, we go out and bring a cooler and fucking get hammered. Yeah, that's not fish. bad. <laughs> Me and my buddy, the kid I shot, right? We catch a fish. We fucking start stabbing the shit out of it like a oh. Oh. Ah. fucking people. Fucking, fucking <laughs> serial killer, be <laughs> <Yeah>. man. <laughs> when I went fishing, it had to be seventy percent drinking, thirty percent fishing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like hardcore fishing, where I open my little fucking lunchbox and take out a ham and cheese and a fucking soda at eleven thirty and stand there like an asshole, <laughs> staring at the fucking water to catch a few dumb fish. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> How about, have you ever gutted a fish? Obviously, yeah. the man has. I have the kid do it. I hire one. I'm, I'm on a the big boat. flounder guy. I, you know, oh. I, I used to gut the flounders, <laughs> freeze the fillets, and then I fucking bread them. Go back to the Wonderful. stabbing of the fish, right? Yeah. yeah. When you and the guy were <laughs> stabbing the fish, were you going like this, too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's one thing to stab it, but if you grunt and stab, that's even yeah, worse. Were going, oh, were you <laughs> making the noise like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We'd be fucking going. I can't believe we didn't get kicked off. you calling the Pe- dead fish names? Be, like, guys would be there with their girls, and the girls would be like fucking pissed. Ha, Get a mackerel ha. and fucking stab it a million yeah. times. All of a sudden you stab with a mackerel going to the mackerel. You motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucking <laughs> son of a bitch. This place poor, anger. What a poor fish. <laughs> <laughs> so of course man shit picking shit up and putting it down. What kind of numbers were you putting up? Were you guys like hitting it higher than the 80s and I stuff? Never, you know a lot of guys I know well, they were in the 400 club. They bench, bench really? 400. Jesus you know? yeah, Christ. I, I, I think the most I ever bench was like 340. When I turned 60, I did 300 just to make sure I could do it. I, tra- <laughs> I trained up, I trained up really? to it. Yeah. I trained up to it. But I, now, I fucking my, I'm a, it's a struggle. One of my shoulders got bad arthritis and it's fucked up. So I do, and I'm going to even cut down from the 225 and just do more reps, I think. That's all. Yeah. It fucking cut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was into fucking kung fu. I what, was what lean. Kind? I disco built. What were you? What were you doing? Like My own s- kind. I made it up. <laughs> but I, as far as lifting weights go, right? I was a dumbbell man. I didn't want to use a lot of bars and stuff. I used to weigh eighty pounders, cool uh, the as high as I got. And I used to hit the fucking bag. That's when you saw me in the Sopranos. Oh yeah. That's why I had a sneaky fucking jab. Sneaky jab <laughs> in a chest like a fucking sidewalk. And then, um, yeah, those dumbbells. You can get a nice deep fucking like. Way there, we used to yeah. have the. Uh, we used to have the. Remember the gold fucking. Th- yeah. The gold oh, sand yeah, filled yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. weights, right? One would be like fucking ten pounds lighter than the other because yeah, it lost its sand. Yeah. You know what I mean? You had to fucking. You had to put it on a thing and screw it in. Oh, right? those socks. It's a pain in the balls. I haven't lifted a weight in fucking years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Be a man. Experience. How about um, like grilling and cooking out and barbecuing? Do you get into it and you do your own fucking marinades and stuff, or like what well, kind of stuff are you doing? Whenever I don't know anybody at a at a barbecue, <laughs> I hang out by the grill. Yeah, <laughs> Be a that's man. Like, just stare at the yeah, meat. Yeah, I don't really grill too much, and I'm a terrible griller. My kids used to say, "Can you please make sure it's cooked." Because whenever I served, yeah. I was so impatient. Nothing was really cooked if it, properly. If it turned color, just flip it and. Yeah, I, I was. I flipped too much. I was supposed to leave it. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I was constantly flipping, flipping, mm-hmm. flipping, uh, flipping. I was an over flipper too. Yeah. I was never a good griller. Always tried to be. Like I gave it several attempts. How about these guys mm-hmm. nowadays? They're showing pictures of their fancy grills with the wood burning and all this shit. Yeah, I'll oh, throw yourself about on it. the fucking grill. If you're buying a fucking yeah. five thousand dollar Traeger grill, whatever the fuck it is, throw yourself <laughs> on the fire as fucking kindling. <laughs> Just burn yourself on the fucking well, grill as charcoal. The kid I shot. See, that's the fu- see, the be- see the sky right here? He burned you in retaliation. Oh, oh, he branded you. We branded ourselves, a bunch of us. <laughs> and this was one of his bachelor. He had like four bachelor pies. This was one of his bachelor pies where we went camping for the weekend. My forearm was swollen up like this at his wedding. And I had a red line going down. I was going to go to the hospital. And somebody gave me this black tar shit. It's like some kind of uh, ointment. And the it ended up going away. Wow. It, yeah. Some sort of voodoo? You're lucky, we, man. Well, we did. We just got pieces of wood we found, put it in the fire, and fucking burned our arms. If it went the other way, you might have been walking around with a hook all yeah. these years. <laughs> right. I saw a guy, you know, with a hook arm uh, that I knew from a long time ago. He's working at Lowe's in the paint department. I swear <laughs> to God. And uh, I was talking to him with his fucking arms behind the desk. I thought everything was fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. All of a sudden, he hoisted up the fucking gallon can <laughs> with the fucking hook <laughs> in the paint thing. I said, 
uh, it totally came in handy for that. Because you know how ho- holding that thing is uncomfortable? Oh, carry yeah. He had it in the, the hook. That's the perfect <laughs> job for a hook hand. Do you I remember, felt bad. Do you remember being younger? There's a lot of guys with fake hands and arms. Oh, That's yeah. how it World War II. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you don't see that anymore. All the big shoes and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> forgot like, high shoes. Yeah, but I all mean, that stuff. It must, have been, must have been veterans from World War II that lost an arm or a leg or a hand. Although you see on TV on the news, there those veterans looking for money. Oh, this guy's missing four limbs. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> you, you can't even believe it. It's yeah. real. Yeah. One after the other coming on, they're asking for ten bucks a month. They go, maybe next month. Uh, <laughs> I feel like an yeah, asshole. I got, I got turned the station. Yeah. Isn't it awful? Yeah, yeah it's poor tough. kids. Be a man. Experience. We used to go camping up to New Hampshire all the time. Mm. You know, growing, you know, being in high school and college, me and my buddies, and sometimes we'd bring broads with us or whatever. It'd be a bunch of us and. There's some fucking crazy shit happened up there in the woods. Orgies? Nah, nothing like that, really. Um, but I was seeing this broad, so we went up, like four of us drove up to me. There was a campsite, and there was another another campsite next to us, and, you know, we're fucked up, and they're fucked up. They came over. Some kid kept on fucking, I had my baseball hat on, kept on, like, like tapping it. He was fucking about 160 pounds. It's just beer balls, right? I said, stop fucking doing it, and he fucking did it again. I fucking clocked him. I, ju- I jumped on top of him. I was trying to stick his face in the... F- I don't remember. I was so fucked up. I don't remember doing it. So everyone's going crazy. All of a sudden, my, my buddy, he pulls out his gun and starts fucking pulling on the whole other campsite, <laughs> fucking blowing off rounds. We did something besides booze. I think we did some kind of fucking micro dot or something. Oh, yeah. We're I fucked bet, up. Man. Yeah. Were you guys big into like playing horseshoes and cornhole and all that stuff? I was never no, really we were up big there on it. Dr- drinking and eating. Right. right. You mean a camping or just in yeah. general? Yeah. Oh, no, when like you, well, whatever. Barbecue. When, when you're in one of them stupid settings where there happens to be like horseshoe. I remember this guy from the Midwest. He's talking about what an asshole a certain guy was. He only goes, God damn, he threw a hell of a shoe, though. <laughs> oh, I really? go, what? What, are you, what are you talking about? He goes, oh, yeah, well, so-and-so left all his money to the church. Real motherfucker. <laughs> Total asshole. Fairy. God damn, he threw a hell of a shoe. Don't don't play horseshoes. Play bocce. Be a man. Right. <laughs> well, isn't like darts. Isn't that supposed to be a man's game? Yeah, that ain't bad. That's fine. I, I know a bunch yeah. of my buddies, they, they used to be in dart leagues. They used to get in brawls. <laughs> it used to be, oh, used you know, to be, fucking yeah. Tuesday night darts. They play every Tuesday night. They play. each other. They fucking, be, you know, it would be a regular league. Like, there'd be like 10 teams in the league and mm. you play another team. And they fucking get in fights playing darts. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 fucking nuts. I was a quitter. I couldn't stand the teams. You know what I mean? I wasn't into the bowling. The, you know, team sport. I played softball for many years. Yeah. But as far as being like on the, on the team... The dart club, this th- I couldn't do it. I couldn't show up every week. I still do uh, bocce, and I'm not gonna lie. You get the best fucking delivery. You fucking look down at your shoes every time, and then you throw it. <laughs> I wish I filmed that the last the last night. Me and Anthony were watching you. Everybody gives me shit for my swing. This is why I don't like these fucking activities. I'm not giving you shit. It's I think you, you fucking concentrate. He looks down, then he throws the ball. I already have the velocity calibrated in my head. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just making sure that the follow through, that I'm getting a clean throw. Yeah. Right. But that is funny, like, how in any, like, extracurricular game, you know, where it be, like, horseshoes, bocce, like, all of that stuff, everybody has the little thing that they do. Everybody thing. wants to be cool. We played softball, the slow pitch. We had this guy, you know, a slow pitch arc softball. Yeah. Yeah. He had the fucking glove, the ball. He'd give a little <laughs> shake and bake action. You're like, <laughs> every time, I go, that's pretty cool for him. It worked for him. It was his thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what he did. Hope he got a line drive off the head. <laughs> <laughs> I played in a softball league. You know how old men play in a softball league? This fucking guy was probably my age now, but he looked older. He took a line drive to the fucking chest. Ooh, and for real? Oh, God. He was down. That happened. Um, we didn't think he was getting up. He may have been the first. I don't know how many old men have been killed playing softball, but I thought he was going to be one no, of them. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he could have got off the I face. mean, that's not how you want to go. You know no. what I'm saying? No. <laughs> I, I was going to put that on. See, now I can safely put on my list. As you guys know, I don't know if you know if I have a list. We don't know how we're going to shed this mortal coil, right? <laughs> that won't be one of them for me. Mm-hmm. I will not be killed by a line drive to the head in softball. Right, right. <laughs> Maybe if I happen to be walking by, unfortunately, I'm not in the game. That'd be even worse. Mm-hmm. How about if you're a fucking spectator walking by getting a bag of peanuts? <laughs> <laughs> How about those people who go, he died doing what he loved? What, taking a <laughs> fucking line drive to the <laughs> temple playing softball? <laughs> be a man. Experience. 
uh, be a man, would you consider yourself to be like an alpha male? I don't know. Would you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe not a hundred percent of the time, but yeah, I, I would say so. If you're around other alphas, I don't crawl into a hole. Some guys are even more alpha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, you know, I hold my own. You know, I don't. Yeah, well, you're, you're fucking street smart, so you right. can you can not act like an alpha, but you know what's going right, on. Right, you right, start right. throwing those uppercuts you get if you need to. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> get it close. A nice six. Yeah, right, you gotta get the six inch with the torque. <laughs> You know yeah. what I mean? You torque it up and spin it right into the fucking... It's like an exploding bullet. <laughs> <laughs> when it hits right. the skin. <laughs> if you can climb that torque when you hit him right in the neck, yeah. right? Then you're going to shake him up. Once they're to their knees, then you can start kicking. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that.